Hello, I'm Ray Joseph, CEO of the West Virginia Association of Realtors. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to our first ever virtual continuing education. We knew when the pandemic hit that our members were not going to be able to get, get their continuing education completed in the more traditional manner that we become accustomed to. So together with a great team of instructors and the West Virginia Real Estate Commission, we put this plan together for you so that you could get your continuing education from the safety of your own home. We've had a great group of instructors and members volunteer to help us put this together and to help us put it together at no charge. And guess what? The good news is because they've agreed to volunteer and help us put it together, we then have the opportunity to pay that forward and offer you free continuing education because we're all in this together. Now make no mistake, this is our first time. It's going to be clunky. It's going to be weird. We're going to have technical difficulties and it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to get the job done. And that's what matters right now is getting the job done. There are going to be technical difficulties and technical issues that you're going to face on your end and we're going to face on our end. It's hard to tell the difference. So remember, if your screen locks up, but you can still hear, or if your sound goes out, but you can still see somebody on the screen, chances are that's an issue on your end, and you'll need to correct it and figure out how to fix it. That might mean clicking out and clicking back in real quick or, or some other thing, and we'll have technical support available to help walk you through uh, some of these things along the way. If everything shuts down, chances are that's on our end, and we'll get it fixed, and we'll get back up and running as quickly as we possibly can. Together, we'll make this happen because that's what realtors do. We work together to solve problems and create solutions. With that, I'm going to hand the mic over to Amy White and let her tell you a little bit about the way we're going to operate through Zoom today. Amy? Thank you, Ray, and welcome everyone to WVR's new learning environment. If you've used Zoom for meetings before, you probably have some idea how to get through the day pretty easily. But I'm going to do a quick review of what you see on screen and what tools you have available to you, especially for this CE environment. First of all, I need to let you know that today's class will be recorded. Um, you are also being monitored for participation, and we're doing that through your video camera. So if you would please, if you've not yet turned on your camera, go down with me to the bottom left of your screen and click on the Start Video icon, and that lets us see everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, once you have your video camera on, we do ask that you leave it on for the duration of the class. That's the only way that we can monitor your attendance today, and we will need to be able to do that for you to get full credit for today's CE. If you have questions during the class itself, or if you have anything you want to add to the course, we're going to try and keep this as close to a live class as possible. So, in a live class, you would raise your hand. So, we would ask that you do that here. You do that by going to the participants icon, and if you click on that icon, you'll see that you can raise your hand at any time during the course. If you raise your hand, what we will do is come over and click to unmute your volume so that you can talk to the instructor and the instructor can talk with you. We'll probably mute you again after that conversation's over because we want to keep everyone's uh, speakers down so that we don't have any background noise throughout the class. We will lower your hand once your questions have been answered and we'll continue to do that throughout the course. If you'd rather talk uh, through someone else and not live on camera, you can always send your question through chat. If you click on the chat icon, it pop pops out a screen where you can type that you have a question to the proctor, the instructor, and we'll get those questions answered for you. The Zoom group chats are also recorded, so that'll be part of the record for the course, including any links that we might put in that for everyone to have access to. This is also the way you wanna let your proctor know or your instructor know that you need a break. Because we don't have any instructor-led breaks in this course um, today, what you'll want to do if you need to take a break to step away from your computer for any reason is just let your proctor know by typing a quick, I'm taking a break, so that the proctor can write your name down in the time that you left and then let them know when you've returned so that that proctor can measure how long you were gone, just like we would do in a regular class if it was live somewhere in the state. If you have any other questions, this is a good place to put them in that chat room. If you have anything that you need during the course of the class in terms of technology, you want to write that in that chat room as well. Now, if you would lose your class for some reason, maybe your battery dies or you um, lose internet access or for any reason that you would get knocked off the meeting, you can log back in with the same link that you were sent to get in, in the course this morning and you'll be able to um, get full credit as long as you are not outside of the classroom for longer than you should have been for your break period. 
So if you have any questions about when you come back in, if you still will get full credit for the class, just let the proctor know and they'll be able to tell you right away. So you know if you get knocked out for any reason and you can't log back in or you can't log back in in time, you will have an opportunity to sign up for another course that we'll be offering in the future. So hopefully we'll get everybody covered that way. If you have any other questions during the course, please ask them of the proctor here in the chat, in the chat window or raise your hand and we'll, we'll call on you there as well. Um, other things that you need to know about your screen, we would recommend that you, if you scroll up to the top right hand corner, that you go to speaker view instead of gallery view. Gallery view can get a little cluttered. It lets you see everybody in the class, but then it also lets you see everybody in the class. Might get a little crowded. So you might want to go to speaker view and that way you'll only see or mostly see the PowerPoint and the instructor. It'll help you to get through the day uh, without feeling like you're watching everyone else get through the day at the same time. So during the class period, if you just want to let us know that you understand something or that you think we're doing a great job, feel free to give us a thumbs up. Give us a little applause if you like what's happening and we'll know that you're satisfied with how things are going. If you have any other questions, you can always put them in the chat room, um, in the chat window, and the proctor will get to you as soon as possible. The course will be recorded so that if you want to have access to it afterwards, you can request that and we can see if we can get that uh, sent out to you. We will not be putting these on Facebook or YouTube, but we will have access to them should you need follow-up. If you have any questions, let us know and hope you have a great day in this new learning environment. Thanks everybody for your participation. Good luck. My name is Jeff Maddox and I am the West Virginia Association of Realtors president for 2020. Thank you, Amy. The West Virginia Association of Realtors is pleased to offer this virtual continuing education opportunity at no cost to our members during these unprecedented times. Part of our mission is to help and assist our members in times of need the continuing education you're about to participate in is one example of how we do this. Another is our Realtor Relief Fund. It is a nonprofit 501c3 charitable corporation helping our members in their time of need and providing college and technical school scholarships. So please consider going to our website and making a tax deductible contribution to Realtor Relief so we can continue being there for you and our members. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this CE offering. And please let us know how I can help. Have a great day.